What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabaratoy where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to show you everyday carry gadgets. Let's see what I got for this video. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up, helps a lot so I can continue buying more gadgets and show you guys and put them to the test. Anyways, let's get to it. Gathered here all weather, right in the rain, universal notebook. So this is something very unique everyday carry that I never seen. Looks like a regular notebook and I love square paper. That is so awesome. So I'm gonna grab a pen, see if it writes on it really well. This paper feels to be really, really thick and also easy to come out. I mean, it seems to be like a regular paper. So it can withhold water, sweat, grease and even mud. I guess this is advertisement, we would take that off as well. Wow, check this out, there's a ruler as well. Okay, let's go tie it out. Okay, let's tie something out. Yeah. Uh, right, so really good, as you can see, no problem. Okay, and now let's put in the water. No way, check this out. That notebook does not absorb any water. It's just running off like crazy. Let me zoom in on that. And that's a lot of water. Whoops. That is insane, check this out. Regular paper would be soaked up all that water instantly, especially from the side. Nope, not this notebook. This notebook just doesn't care. And guess what, under water, the pen is giving out, not the notebook. That is crazy. After a while it does feel kind of moist. But I bet it dies out real quick. Look at that. That's insane. You can still ride in on it, dry it out all the way. It does feel moist, but I don't think the water actually penetrated. That is so cool. So yeah, in the mud or anything, you can still use it, dry it out, ready to go. Never even knew this kind of stuff existed. And one more time, hold it under water. It's like uh, almost a like paper that made up for money or something. Very, very strong. Look at that. It stirs up after being soaked for so long. It's not being mushy. Even if it's broken. Let's see. Oh wow, still super strong. You see? It doesn't soak in as much. Amazing. Got it here. Sag multi-tool pen. All look like a pen. Let's see what this thing is all about. Okay, it looks like right here is a flashlight. Probably has a little safety thing to where it's going to stop from uh, lighting up. No, there's a battery. Okay. Yep. And boom, you got pretty bright flashlight. Oh wow, this is pretty nice like a floodlight. Okay, you got it here, a bottle opener and a screwdriver, flathead. It's not gonna open unless you know how to open. There's a little red button, so you just push it and push it down. And boom, you have a much, much thicker handle to pretty much open boxes and like to do little jobs with this small blade, really nice, and then just Fold it back up. And this is a really, really smooth folding knife. It should be the weirdest knife ever made. Look at this locking mechanism. You see it right here? It's almost like a holster on gears over here. And to open it, you just pull it down and you're not going to cut yourself. So you can even open it with one hand, which is really unique. And also I got a little flashlight. So interesting. And obviously you have other tools in there. Like puddle opener, screwdriver, what else am I missing? So that's pretty much it, five tools in here. Okay, let's test the flashlight. It's a really, really dark room as you can see. And boom. So, with that flashlight, you have your really big floodlight. Good idea, another SOG. This one seems to be having like a lot more tools. Check this out. 
Well, I love the packaging. Oh, wow, a little holster with that. That's beautiful. Oh, you know what? I bought extra for this. And this is a little screwdriver holders, like a little bits for the screwdriver. And wow, I'm so glad I did buy it because now I can stick it in here. Will it fit? Nice, beautiful. Which way? This way. Boom, wow, that is so cool. Okay, one more time, you see there's a SOG Q4. Uh, so we're just gonna pull it this way and close it. And this is quite nice. Uh, cutters, pliers, uh, oiled up pretty good. Okay, lock it back up. Let's see what else we have here. All this good stuff. Okay, to pull something out, you just grab it over here. It's quite nice and smooth. I hate it whenever they so tight to where you cannot pull it out. Okay, you have your can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver, uh, nail file or like one of those file things. Can opener, screwdriver and a knife. So I guess this is a locking mechanism. This locks in, you just press it and there's a little hooky over here and it locks in. That's nice, that's what it's for. And this is actual screwdriver bits. Gonna go in here and there's a bit, how do I take it out? So I guess you can just press on it and push it out somehow. Not the easiest thing to take out, but there you go. And you have right here a screwdriver this way. Oh wow, this is one of those awesome screwdrivers that is automatic. Uh, retract itself and then you switch it the other way wow this tool is amazing then you pull it out stick it back in you could buy it by itself q4 sog or you can also buy extra bits over here that is amazing love this got it here another drop pouch i think that's what it's called or drop bag whatever i call it gathering bag so anyways could be used for so many different things this is why i keep putting them to the test as you can see this one is a little bit different there's a belt loops and instead of velcro you actually have actual clip which is really, really cool so a really big pouch with the cover like that which is way better you can already see so if it filled up with stuff, you don't have to scrunch all together right here. You actually have more space because this one have actual cover on top of it. That is so cool. So then you open it and it will fall inside of it. Wow, what a good design. Can't believe it. And whenever you're done, just fold it, fold it, and then probably just fold it one time like that. Just easy folds and then lock it in and to make it really tight just tighten this up looks beautiful not the smallest when it's folded together but it's definitely the bigger bag and then you just lock it in on the belt I'll show you what it's going to look like on your actual belt in a sec okay let's put it on the belt I love it how easily it is um, replaceable taking it off don't have to take off the whole belt and also you can put it on the back of your backpack. Do it on the side, so you guys can see. Okay, it has a clip instead of Velcro. Boom. Let's say you fill it up with a bunch of stuff. There you go. And then again, what's so cool about this one, it's zipped up like that and it doesn't have to be like all smooshed together because it has the top cover. Boom. Look how big the pouch is. And whenever you're done, just close it and then just fold it super easy and tighten it up love that gear and once you're done just open it up put it in behind you in front whatever is comfortable love it another gadget over here a really cool packaging everyday carry pen charging wire look how small this ink pens are and there's a breaker in here and one of those touch screen things okay 
just hold it, you have your a really nice flashlight. And press it a bunch of time, it will turn it off. Also, it unfolds like that. That's amazing. Okay, and then hold it, it'll change the brightness. Beautiful. Oh wow, look at that. And to turn the pen over, you flip it like that and lock it in. And you got it here, pen. And if you wanna replace the pen, boom. I'm sure you can buy replacements for that. Seems to be pretty standard. Flip it over. And also you can change it to one of those stylus things or window breaker. So whenever you need this flashlight, you can put it on top of the hood and I have a light and it's magnetic. Got it here, multi-tool flint uh, by SOG. Another little everyday carry. Look like a pen size, but I don't think it has a pen. So it's almost like a keychain whistle, obviously. So window breaker. If you need to get out from the car that it has been smashed. Fire rod, this is an actual fire stick right here. And looks like it's replaceable, nice. This one spins too. Oh, this is actual blade to strike it. Okay, gonna put everything back in. And I know this right here on spins too. And you got it here, double zero firewall. You open it up and uh, strike it with a spark it's going to spark up and be hot. You can start dry grass on fire and stuff. So whenever you used it, just whenever you get home, you can just replace it. You can buy uh, steel wool pretty easily at a hardware store. So yeah, very unique everyday carry survival tool, fire steel. Got it here, everyday carry little tweezers. Cutting firewood, loading firewood, splinters are inevitable. So yeah, very, very easy to use. You can put on keychain, boom, grab a little bit of a, a skin, look at that. Pull out your scab, that's epic. This one's even cooler. They're a little bit bigger, but if you don't mind the length, I feel like these ones are better, uh, easier to use, and they're still pretty small. So put on a keychain maybe, as long as they don't fly out or put it in somewhere in your pocket and it can just slide in into your pocket like that. So whenever you need to take out a splinter, you can take it out really easily and it seems to be really nice metal, opens up every time really good. Love this little tweezers. What smallest uh, bottle opener? There's actually, I've seen even smaller, very, very tiny, but they go like keychain, everyday carry bottle opener obviously going to work really good but let's demonstrate what it's going to look like okay there goes nothing yeah very nice it was stubborn and it opened anyways tiny simple but very effective we got it here power bank fan let's see what it's all about so it looks like one of those regular Power banks, there you go, there's a plug and chargers, it comes with the wire and everything. Okay, and then you're just supposed to press it on and off, it doesn't press. Why is, isn't that? Oh, there you go, because this thing comes out all the way, okay? You gotta take it out, then you press it on or off, except it's out of power. Love this power bank, been using it quite a bit. Will it run while we're charging? Oh yeah, it will. Nice. So you can have a little power bank and use it at the same time. I mean, connect it to a power bank. But it's supposed to be uh, also a power bank. You can plug it in into the USB and the other way around and charge up your phone. And as you can see, whenever we touch it, not a big deal. It doesn't hurt that bad at all. And it's automatic stuff. This thing is pretty powerful. Oh yeah, it feels good, especially in a humid uh, climate. Very hot, humid climate could be very, very useful. 
very important in a summer days of like Florida, especially Miami or something. Whenever you're done, shut it off. Boom. Very interesting power bank, that's for sure. Got it here a couple of box cutter without sharp blade. Usually those box cutters razor blade. That's what they're inside of them is actual razor. Well, this one is actual plastic and it has pretty sharp point to it actually. But to where I'm not going to cut myself. Check this out. So this is really, really safe. I think they said here to take it apart and switch the blade. Yep. Wow, look at that. There is a tiny blade inside of it and you just pull it out and flip it over, replace it and you can buy a whole stack of them like replacement blades even though it's a plastic blades they will dull out after a while just like a metal ones and you will have to put a replacement one especially you not be able to sharpen them up just like the blade one you won't be able to sharpen them up either so right away let's try it out uh, let's see if we can break through, I know this, wow, no way, it break through this plastic, no problem, you know this really frustrating plastic, and I don't have to even struggle that much and worry about cutting myself, it's still quite sharp, but not like a razor, a razor would really make it sharp, this one is a little bit less pointy by the same brand, and it's already out, so you can just push it in like that and out and keep it out all the time. It feels sharp, but not razor sharp to where it's gonna cut me. That's nice, you see it? That's good. Because uh, it's just a plastic blade at the end of the day. You pull this out to replace the blade, you can get a whole stack of them whenever you wanna put a new one or flip it over. And this is, I don't even know if it's plastic or some kind of ceramic blade. You know what? I think it's a ceramic blade. That's crazy. You feel it? Yeah, it's definitely some kind of ceramic blade. That's interesting. Wow, that's awesome. Even better than I thought. Easy to replace a blade, put it in, and let's go cut up a bunch of boxes. First, we're gonna go with this one. Wow, that's easy. And then right here. Nice. Open up the box. But can it cut through the box? Got it here. Big box. No way. Look at that. It can do it can cut through the whole box with this little, I guess, ceramic blade. Wow. What about this one? Even better than the other one because you don't have to keep it closed, but if you want to, you got it. Open it with one hand. It's a loose box and it cuts it too. The whole box. That's amazing. I can't believe how awesome it is. I probably would be using opening boxes quite often because I receive a lot of boxes every day for the videos and I have to use actual knife and I'm afraid to actually cut the packaging. This will not cut the packaging as much, I bet. So that's kind of cool. Also, I got right here a everyday carry box cutter with the pry bar over here. And that's kind of nice screwdriver, bottle opener. There's all these functions on it. Let's see if this thing will cut through this annoying packaging. Wow, no problem. So just like a regular box cutter. kind of dangerous to open up this box cutter because it's open but wow this one is so nice I love how small it is and yeah it has all this unique bottle opener uh, looks like a cord a power cord cutter um, large screwdriver small screwdriver at least that's what they advertise wire stripper nail puller um, quite a few unique things out here that is definitely next level it does lock in at some point right here. Does it lock in anywhere else? Nope. But you can really only open a little bit to constantly only open the boxes and not uh, cut the product inside of it. It's quite hefty with my big hands. It still feels pretty comfortable. I love it. 
very durable Gerber box cutter.